contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hey again everyone, Tim here from timscomputerfix.net. Hey, I just got this custom-built computer brought into my shop that I kind of want to share with everybody. I have not yet even opened this case up. The only thing that I have done with this computer is I've checked it in and then I've identified the make of the case. This case is an Antec Landboy Air ATX case. And I think it came out sometime around 2011 was, the, was when the uh, case went on the market. Sort of a uh, kind of a unique design, I guess. I guess in this case, I mean, you either you either love it or hate it, but it is what it is. It got brought into my shop. So, um, like I said, I haven't done anything to it. The only thing that I know about this computer is the guy, the customer has uh, he brought it in and said that uh, somebody gave him this computer and said something about when he turns it on it says reboot and select proper boot device or something like that and of course the very first thing that I think of is you know there's a hard drive issue that's usually the case he said he got it to run a few times or what have you is what he told me so but uh, but now all of a sudden it's giving him a select proper boot device. So I see here just just looking at it, there's wires hanging out of the side here. I'm not sure what those go to. Hmm. There's some more wires down here just kind of hanging out. But I figured I'd take you along for the ride on this one. I'm not sure where this one's going to go. Um, he's he says something about there's a. Uh, He's got a, a origin account on here that doesn't want to um, activate or something. He just wants me to check it out and get to the bottom of what's going on with it. And so that's what we'll do. Um, I'm assuming that this door comes off by removing these thumb screws here. So we'll start there. And I'm doing this one handed. So I might have to put this camera on my tripod. But. See if I can do this one-handed here. Comes off. Uh, see, we got longer screws for this side, huh? Oh, that's off, and the door just kind of falls right off there. Ah, so here are the here are the wires that he that I was looking at on the other side. Here, we'll get those. Sort of squared away. I just want to get this diagnosed and then we'll worry about all this other stuff. So, right away I see a, he said he put a new video card in this. He did say that. I assume this is just after the guy gave him the case. I don't know the whole story there, but whatever, right? Ah, look at that. GTX 960. Not a bad card. Not a bad card at all. Um, I do notice that it's in a lower slot. I'm not sure what motherboard this is. I'll have to identify that too. It's an, it's an 1155, I see. What brand, what brand? Ah, it's a Z77 board. LGA 1155. So, processor. I'm just taking a guess. Um, it's quite the cable management in here is horrid. Not looking good at all. This looks like a uh, hmm. ooh, it looks like an EVGA thousand watt power supply. Wow, nice. Good power supply, good video card. Uh, this, oh, it's an ASUS motherboard. So it's, uh, yeah. Ah, it's an Asus, uh, 
Looks like PBZ77. We'll have to look that up. It's an LX version. Looks like a pretty decent board. I see we got a couple of uh, RAM sticks installed. One in the black slot, one in the blue slot. I'm not sure if that's proper. We'll have to look that up. Power supply here hooked up, and the looks like it's got an eight pin um, CPU plug there. Like I say, a decent looking motherboard. Good card. Here's a couple of uh, CD drives up here that are plugged in properly. I'm still looking for that hard drive. See a what is this floating? Let me see if I can get some light on this. If you can see this through the camera, I'm seeing the hard drive in here. It's that hey, that's the hard drive down there. Wow. Let's see, do I have any more light? Let's try that. That's the hard drive buried beneath all these wires and cables. And get my hand down in here. Oh my goodness. It looks like the hard drive is just floating down here. It's not even mounted. Look at that. Oh, it is mounted. I take that back. You know what? I think, okay, this case has a shockless design is what it is. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. Got me on that one. So it's meant to kind of move around and bounce around. See there? Ah, didn't know that. Pretty cool. Let's see what else. Um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I like that. Cool little feature. Let's see. Let's see what, looks like you got the um, SATA. Cables plugged in. There's two for the CD drives that they have, and then there's one for a hard drive. Let's just see where that goes here. Um, hard drive's here. So, oh my gosh. Let's see if we can see. I can't even see where the connectors are on this hard drive here. Ah, well, don't know if you can see this. Wow, what a mess. Look at that. Can't see it without no light here on the camera. Let's see if I can get this light here a little bit closer. This is unbelievable. How about this? Let's try that. So here's the hard drive, right? There's the hard drive connectors here. There's nothing plugged in to the hard drive. Nothing's plugged in. No power. No power, no data cable. Now, I don't know whether he, he did that. He was getting no boot device, so... Don't know. So, I think... I think what we might want to try to do here is just to see if we can find the other end of those cables. Um, okay, that one goes to a that one goes to the CD drive up top. This one goes to the CD drive up top. So it must be is a black one here. What a wired mess. So this one's going to go to the hard drive. And I'm going to, like I say, I just want to get a diagnosis here before I uh, start doing cable management or anything like that. But, um, God, it is hard to do this. So what I'm going to do, everybody, I'm not going to show you on camera. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to plug in the, uh, the data cable and the, and the power cable to this hard drive. And then we're going to, um, we're going to give it a, Give it a power on just to see what we get. I wonder what happens if we take the screw off here. Or if we get a little bit easier access. Yeah. Easier access. There's your hard drive design there. Everything's just kind of floating around on like bungees. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Pretty cool. But the, 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 uh, the wire management is just hideous. So let me get this hard drive hooked up. 
and um, this case probably needs to be blown out a little bit too um, doesn't look too awful bad but let me get the uh, let me get this hard drive hooked up and we'll we'll power it up live on camera and see what we get okay let me show you what I had to do man just so I can get away from all this jumbled mess here I've had to take the actual bungee part off of this side of the hard drive here and let's kind of let it fall down just so I can get the two cables on here because there's no room with all these wires man there's just everywhere so I now have the uh, hard drive plugged in it's like a 500 gig um, Hitachi drive there it's plugged in so I don't know we got our power in plugged in properly we've got two sticks of RAM I don't know what size RAM sticks those are up here um, we get we do have an aftermarket cooler just a cheap one it looks like uh, <clears throat> power supply and all that looks like it's plugged in properly so and there's enough juice going to the power supply there that that connectors properly go into that so um so I guess my next step here would be to probably go ahead and power this thing on so let me get this set up near a monitor and get some power to it and um, I'll set up my tripod I think and we'll fire it off and see what it does okay so we've got the hard drive plugged in got the data cable and the power cable plugged into that and we've got the just, we just have it resting there. Mouse, keyboard, monitor that I just got laying right here on the bench. Power's plugged in. Good to go there. So let's just see what we do here. I'll turn this on. Fan spin. Good. Let's see if we get any video. We got video, that's a good sign. Yeah, it looks like we're loading windows. Huh. Interesting. Select proper boot device is not coming up at all on this. Like he said. So I mean the hard drive was unplugged. What do you do, you know? There you go. Looks like it loads up quite well. Interesting. Well, I think I've solved the problem of uh, no boot device. Hard drive is unplugged for whatever reason. Okay, well, I'm going to go through this and uh, do some other things here and check everything out and we'll see what it looks like. I'll get back with you. Yeah, I right, just a closer look here, a few things that I've just discovering here. Here's system information that I pulled if I open this up from UVK. So underneath the operating system, we've got Windows 8.1 Enterprise. Hmm. So somebody bought an Enterprise version of Windows for this computer. Highly unlikely. Um, and then a, a dead giveaway here is the the uh, OS product key, and that's not a proper product key. So it's very apparent that this computer has a pirated version of Windows on it. So, anyways, it's uh, it's game over for this computer, anyways. Yeah. You know, in my shop, um, when it, if there's pirated windows on a computer, I'm not going to go any further with any kind of diagnostics software-wise. 
until a, a proper you know, product key is purchased. So, yeah, that's the end of that one. I'm going to contact this customer, and if he doesn't want to purchase a legitimate license key, then uh, he could just come pick up the computer and, and pay me my diagnostics fee and be on his way. Oh, well, guys, like I say, just thought I'd take you along for the ride, and this is how this one turned out. We'll see what happens to the next one. Bye now.